Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome back dear viewers. Uh, it is a new episode of your program up today coming to you nightly and every Sunday of the week. Uh, when it comes uh, to us uh, today, I uh, gladly welcome everybody and I wish you had a very nice holiday. A very big thanks to my colleague, Sam al who held up for last week's episode. And when it comes to today's episode, we'll be having, inshallah, our usual segments as well. We'll be talking about new technology uh, uh, gadgets available in the market as well. We'll be talking about, uh, let's see, well, we'll be giving assistance. It's more like a tutorial today. We'll be talking about Google, Gmail and, well, the free things that Google gave us in the world. As well, we'll be talking uh, about uh, the ways that the Internet is helping us when it comes to educational systems and, uh, let's say, uh, distance learning. Uh, so, uh, first of all, let me just tell you about our email when it comes to us, uptoday.ksa2 at gmail.com. Come. And when it comes to the Gmail uh, system, let's say we're going to be having a lot. Of, yeah, that's the email on the screen right now. Well, as I was saying, the Gmail system will be talking about it uh, in detail in today's episode. And who's uh, best to talk about it than Engineer Abdulaziz Al Araj, who's an IT uh, engineer as well. He's an expert. Uh, and you're from, uh, mashallah, the Riyadh Tech College for Technology. Welcome to our episode. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It's more like well, I mean, calm uh, atmosphere when it comes to you in the episode. I mean, y you know exactly what to say and what, when to say it in the episode. Well, yeah, I cannot depend on that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, inshallah, dear viewers, uh, we'll be talking about uh, when it comes to Gmail, of course. But first of all, we, we, we'll, we'll, let's start with the basics. Of course, with the revolution of the internet and everything, it came to uh, emails. Emails uh, made uh, like, uh, do conquer more than 20% of traffic on the internet when it comes to emails. And uh, yeah. Yet uh, free email servers are available all around, but one of the most known mail servers in the world uh, used to be uh, more like a private company. Now it's a company that's uh, more like uh, most of the people do know it. It's Google that created Gmail. Uh, Gmail uh, do support all languages, all encryptions, and everything like that. It is a free service available. There are a couple of things that you can buy for subscribe for them for an initial fee. Uh, other than that, let us talk about the, the, the essence of uh, Gmail. A lot of people do use uh, emails, uh, engineers. Uh, but eventually they don't take the whole benefit of it, do they? Yeah, actually, um, uh, email has been with us for you know the last decade, and um, w more and more we are relying on uh, emails. Um, okay, uh, of course, email is a is a nice invention. Uh, what yet to invent when 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 we already have uh, the email? Um, uh, in the new Gmail, they come up with many things, many features that hasn't been uh, there before, and they they have uh, encouraged other uh, email providers to uh, follow their uh, steps. Uh, for example, the the first time Ajax is uh, Ajax is introduced was through uh, Gmail. Uh, just to uh, clarify what Ajax, yeah, what's Ajax uh, yeah, Ajax is when you retrieve uh, a content within the page that you don't have to reload the whole page. Right. So yeah, the, the, uh, some parts of the page ca get reloaded, and it's it's like uh, you have an application, uh, a desktop application like nice. Microsoft Word or Excel. So this is. Uh, new um, when we want to check whether we have a new email or not before uh, before Gmail it, it, it's like you know uh, uh, it's uh, we, we can date upon uh, Gmail's appearance yeah so before Gmail we used to hit refresh and the whole page with the whole ads gets refreshed uh, and reloaded uh, to us so we can check whether we had a new email or not but this is not the case when, with Gmail. With Gmail, automatically the, the new message will pop up uh, to you. Uh, the, the whole page st st stays st still. Yeah, and this is so different when it comes to uh, refreshing. I mean, Hotmail used to have auto refreshing, but this is different. This is a totally different. Auto refreshing refreshes the whole page, as Engineer Abdelaziz is saying, uh, when it comes to Ajax uh, and the whole new technology as well. Certain parts only get reloaded. Exactly. Um, s some of my colleagues they call uh, Google the open so uh, the Microsoft of the e uh, open source. They come uh, they come up with inventions that is uh, plays with the mentality of you know the new geeks and the open source uh, uh, developers. 
um, uh, th there are some uh, new technologies. You wonder, why don't they use this? As soon as you think of something, there are some companies that are eager to get ideas and to uh, translate it into reality. Uh, for example, uh, in Gmail, we have seen something new called tags or tagging. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's a new concept to uh, uh, arrange your uh, messages. Uh, for example, um, I have some messages that are private, and I have messages that are uh, funny, for example. So, so it's different from filterization? No, the thing, we used to have folders. Yes. So we'll have the folder of funny stuff and the folder of personal. What about a personal funny thing? <laughs> Where to go, exactly. Yeah, shall I have two copies, two emails, or shall I have a tagging, which can be funny, personal, business, and private at the same time? So, yeah, um, thanks to tagging uh, concept, uh, th th we can achieve something like this. Uh, it helps us a lot to, you know, uh, f f for me, I, I find it very difficult to deal with uh, folders. And of course, uh, other, other things that we should be talking about uh, concerning the Gmail is uh, it is a free service, mm -hmm. but not 100%. Well, it is 100% uh, free. Uh, Top three activi activation and uh, distance activation, is it free? For yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's free. It's not only free uh, to have uh, an email at Gmail. For example, mm -hmm. as a, an IT manager in Riyadh College of Technology, uh, I come up with the idea of using Gmail as uh, our um, mail providing uh, service. Uh, we we uh, provided mail through uh, G Gmail. Uh, many providers, they would not give you email unless it's at their domain. Right. Yeah, but this is to totally new that Gmail, ca you can use your name at your domain, dot edio, dot com, and it's not, uh, they, they are giving good service for educational uh, institutes and uh, non-profit organizations. Also, uh, they give businesses and private uh, personal websites uh, the same, almost the same uh, amount of uh, services. All right. They, they give you, for example, for free, uh, they'll give you more than seven gigs and counting. And uh, I, I'm not in the you know position to uh, advertise for, advertise for <laughs> yeah. Gmail, no, but I, I, I'm in a position to tell people uh, what they're getting, uh, regardless of the company. You can get 7 gig, you can get uh, a calendar with free SMS, um, and w maybe we can have episodes so to, to describe the other services so people can benefit the, you know, uh, the maximum. Um, and you, ca you will have a um, Picasa account wh where you, you can uh, store your images, high quality. You have gigs to store your images and videos. Um, uh, the integration, uh, for example, in, in map, maps, you, you can have yes. uh, your own locations, your own maps. Uh, all together in... Uh, so, uh, what's the point behind all this? Is there a reason that Google gives all those services for free? Do they advertise on the pages? Do they have certain things that they benefit? Because it can be totally free without their benefit, can Yeah, it? There, there are, of course. Uh, you, can, you are not full enough to make a service that is... Uh, totally free. Uh, totally free. Yes. And uh, if you can benefit in a reasonable way, uh, it will be great. Yes. Uh, so there, there are ads that is text ads, no flashy images, no uh, okay. killing for your bandwidth. Uh, this is one thing. Second, it's relative to your content, uh, though some people don't like it to be relevant. So uh, they they feel you know um, uh, th that their privacy is uh, yeah interfered or integrated. Yeah. Uh, but so th there's uh, something w regarding mobiles and Gmail. 
we will come to that. Right. Okay. Uh, first, let's let's talk about the PC users, the, okay. the regular email users. Right. Uh, we talked about having you know tags instead of folders, and uh, there's a new thing that we were dying to have. Yet, Google proved that it's not difficult to have, uh, which is conversations instead of messages shredded all over. Um, Sometimes I want to follow up with a conversation that I have sent you an email, then you have replied. I want to make sure what, what, uh, what's my sent message. Mm -hmm. Then I'll have to go to the folder of sent messages mm -hmm. and check the date. Uh, it's, it's a hassle. Yeah. In, Google, in Gmail, uh, as soon as you reply, it's within the same page. There, there's the, uh, the original page, uh, the, the original yeah, It's name. like the, the old Outlook, uh, Outlook Express that uh, in, in integrates the whole thing. It, it's in the bottom, so the new message is in the top, and it's like a tree, uh, a tree uh, arrangement uh, so that you find this is the new email, this is the one before, the one before, the one before. So it, it, it the keeps whole you conversation. The whole conversation with the email. Yeah, the source. whole conversation, your emails and uh, hints. Um, uh, I have checked uh, in Google that uh, in, in uh, Outlook it's uh, only his email that is relevant. So, yeah, uh, it's like you know the forums where yes. you can uh, uh, where you can uh, in the forums you can send um, uh, a, a post and get the reply for that yes. post. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, yes. uh, this is the concept uh, of Gmail. So we have conversations. I have the message I have received and the messages I sent and the whole conversation. And sometimes I can uh, have specific parts of the message. Sometimes conversations goes for uh, 48 messages. Messages, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you, f you find yourself lost in uh, this uh, conversation. Uh, there is a way to uh, mark the important uh, parts. It's more like highlighter. Yeah. Just highlight them. Exactly. Uh, the, this message has a, an info. The others are, you know, uh, waste of, you know, text. Mm -hmm. And it's you time can and space. Okay. Yeah. So um, the, you, ca you can I even delete within the conversation, or you, you can delete the uh, the whole tree. Sometimes there's just a topic that many people reply to. And you don't want to be bothered by it. There's a, uh, an option to mute the, this uh, conversation, nice. so no one will bother you. It will not pop up in your face again. Uh, a, a new concept, which is archiving instead of deleting. Yeah, ar archiving everything. Yeah, putting in archives. Yeah, you can archive any message. Um, um, uh, if, for example, I look at my email. All of us look at our emails, especially when we when we work. We look at it as as a tasks. Um, uh, if I have uh, an email, then I have a task. I have to to you know follow up with this task and finish it. Um, those tasks. When I'm done with one task, I don't want to delete the message. You just I, want to take it or something. I, I I want to put it in another folder. Right. Uh, uh, in archive, usually I use IMAP protocol where I archi archive uh, my messages. Now I don't have to do that. Archive right. is there for searching. The archive is right there, it's ready, and you can search it whenever you want. Exactly. The, uh, the, there's a question that when it comes to the services that we provide, of course, I'm just linking everything for our viewers. I mean, not everybody's used to, let's say, Hotmail, Yahoo, and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, it came, uh, the whole service came with a messenger, came with, uh, let's say, uh, more like a program minimized in your desktop th that you find uh, notifications or something that, I mean, uh, you'll be notified if you receive new emails or you reply or anything within your inbox. Uh, does Google provide the same thing, the same uh, idea or yeah, method? That that's the beauty of it. Um, in Google, we have uh, found something new, which is while you're, s you're looking at your email, you, you still have to, to, uh, to look at your friends who are online. So uh, when I'm checking my email, I'll see <coughs> that Faisal is online. So I can chit chat with him. It was text only. So w within a web page, within, within the, the web page. So not a separate program. You don't program. have to install software. But is there a software available for such? There thing? is. There, there is. is Google okay. Talk. Uh, Google Talk. Okay. Yeah, Google Talk. That w works uh, perfectly. So uh, and it works on Mac, Windows, Linux. 
uh, the thing is you can chat you can you know uh, inter uh, interact with your colleagues that are online while you are online uh, this is one thing. The second thing, which is new, which is up to date. Okay. Uh, there's an, a new service. Now you can voice chat with them within the page, the web page, or video chat. Nice. Yeah. So this is uh, just uh, released. As in live in the moment, you can chat video chat exactly. with them. Exactly. You can have either a with their, video with their uh, Google Talk or on the web page. No, 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 without Google Talk. So on the but either ways, you can find it on Google Talk as well? Yeah, Google Talk, uh, I'm not sure that Google Talk uh, provides, provides video. It. Oh, okay. It, it provides voice since it was, uh, you know, the name is Google Talk. It's yeah, talk. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, voice was there. Um, uh, I'm not sure that there is a new version. Uh, that they're making a new version uh, to integrate the video uh, all together with it. The, uh, but currently, it's working on the browser. It's, it's working on the browser where you can uh, voice uh, voice chat or video chat with your friends. Great. Uh, we'll be going to the report, uh, Engineer Abdelaziz, and for you, dear viewers, we'll be going to the report, inshallah, and after the report, we'll be back, and well, we'll be going to our guest for the, by DTL, by satellite, and we'll be talking to him about uh, distance learning, then we'll be coming back to Google, uh, so that do our, hopefully our uh, guest, Engineer Abdelaziz, will uh, demonstrate live uh, exactly what we saw, uh, all he explained, what he uh, talked to us and what he told us in words, He'll explain it actually physically on our page. Stay with us up to date. We live in a world of technology and technological developments, and this wave of advancement has struck all electronic devices from digital cameras to mobile phones laptops and even the television. It is simply amazing the level of technological development that we have reached. Take cameras for example. All digital cameras these days have an impeccably high resolution and an impressive zoom and an ability to store a large amount of memory. What I can say is we are today in the peak Maybe there is never a peak, but we are in the peak of uh, the technology. Uh, we have reached today very high resolutions with uh, compact cameras, up to 14.5 megapixels in a small digital camera. We have integrated GPS into the camera for global positioning. In the professional line, we have the... Um, what we call DSLR cameras, interchangeable lenses. We have also reached uh, very high technology in terms of sensitivity, where you can use up to 25,000 ISO settings, uh, grainless practically, with very little grain, very little noise. We can now uh, take pictures in very dim light without the use of the flash. Uh, we have reached speeds of uh, shooting speeds up to 9 frames per second. Television is a whole other story. The large flat plasma TV has become a regular in all households and offices. Its true bright colors and practical size make it an all-time favorite. And every day, something new is invented in the world of television. We live in a constant race with technology. Whether it is plasma TVs, digital cameras, laptops, or even mobile phones, you better keep yourself updated, or else you will find yourself too out of date. What about computers and laptops? The device that was introduced in the markets in the late 80s has now become a must-have for all employees, students, or businessmen. Everyone has at least one laptop. And we often find ourselves changing our laptop or computer every year, not because it has stopped working, but rather to stay updated with the latest technology that are introduced to the world of computers every day. Developing uh, very, very fast. The speed is moving fast. Screens are coming uh, smaller. Laptops are coming smaller. Even educational PCs are coming smaller. We have triple PCs. It's a small laptop with a uh, 9-inch screen. 
It's uh, very small, only for educational purposes, not, can, not for AutoCAD or graphic design. Will this train called technology ever stop? Well, it doesn't seem like it will anytime soon. So why don't you just hop on board and stay updated? For up to date, this is Basma Tabaja, Beirut, Lebanon. And uh, welcome back, dear viewers, when it comes to us right now. Uh, we do have uh, a detail with us, and we'll be talking, hopefully, about uh, when it comes to our technology segment. We did talk about Gmail at the beginning. We'll be talking about it. We'll be concluding uh, what we started uh, regarding Gmail and its services. Uh, but now we do have our guest uh, with us uh, via DTL. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, can you please just uh, present yourself? Because... Uh, Hello, this is Dr. Hassan Al Saadi, Director of Higher Education, a British Institute of Technology and E-Commerce. Absolutely honored to have you here on our program. And uh, regarding when it comes to uh, distance learning, uh, of course, uh, we know that uh, the Internet has got a lot of positive regarding Internet, uh, let's say, uh, learning and distance learning. It did provide us with all the accessibilities uh, for us to make that happen. Distance learning and the Internet. So if you could just give, uh, just give us more like a brief about all the benefits and the positives about it. Well, uh, distance learning is very useful for a lot of people who are not able to uh, attend regular classes uh, as people living uh, away from the center. And uh, this uh, distance learning will give them the facilities to have the experience, to have the knowledge about new technology, new advances, uh, well, vocational training and a lot of facilities could be offered to them uh, by this distance learning. Again, distance learning is need to be some sort of legalization, need to be some sort of, uh, you know, uh, control by central government or, or by a, a academic body to make sure that they are doing the right thing. We don't want to see any commercial non-academic distance learning as a website uh, university nowadays we we see we see from t time to time okay universities in general as in UK they have two lines the ordinary line of education system which is regular or based on classes which is physical education as well as the online education which is based on the internet the internet education, the going to offer the resources to people not able to attend uh, regular classes and uh, the education is going to be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So the student could uh, do their exercise, do their assignment, do their project and submit it on their convenient to uh, university or colleges okay so this will be a great advantage to people who are working uh, and not full-time a student again it will solve some sort of the visa problem traveling uh, reduce the cost of traveling the, the reduce the cost of living reduce a lot of things you know so it will be beneficial for both educational institute and for students but the examination need to be regulated in a way that uh, we have to uh, we have to recognize well the uh, student who do the exam and we have to have some sort of trusted body to run the exam and make sure that the examination is done in the best possible way to make sure that the right person taking the exam and submit the assignment and the project.
Uh, Thank you. Uh, uh, let me ask you regarding, of course, one downside of, uh, let's say, distance learning when it comes to interactivity. Uh, supposedly, if you're attending a class online yes. and you're attending a uh, via video, you, you would like to interact with the whole class as well, to interact mainly with the teacher, the instructor, uh, the engineer who is ever conducting uh, this course or this class. Uh, how is this being available, or, or how can I, we turn distance learning into a more interactive, more flexible way of learning? Well, there is many approaches for, for having a distance learning. For example, I used to teach in one of the universities who run distance learning in, from United States, and they got uh, some sort of uh, site or facilitator uh, body in United Arab Emirates. So we, the, we have the tutor in the United States, and we have the facilitator, okay? So there is some sort of timetable arranged, but uh, there is some an institution has no restriction on this, uh, on, ta on fixed or uh, which is a fixed uh, time timetable. Great. And uh, let me ask you about uh, when it comes to, uh, let's say, uh, not uh, individual learning, but when it comes to a gr a group learning. I mean, classes or major uh, classes or halls that uh, you want to conduct, let's say, uh, major uh, ceremonies or major, uh, let's say, uh, presentations. Is that available through distance learning as well? Well, th this is what I said. It is uh, distance learning not necessary that uh, on the individual basis. Uh, distant learning could be uh, to a group of students. For example, we used to have a group of students in Dubai uh, taught by me uh, um, as a, facil a facilitator and uh, another lecturer who is in the United States who run the course and he, he has the website and do the grading or, and the assignment or everything. So it is not necessary to be based on individual. It could be for a group of students with regular timetable. And this is what the Open University in Britain all about. Great. Uh, but about from your own experience, if you put it from your own words, regarding uh, the, benefit, uh, the beneficiary of the whole thing, do students do benefit the same through distance learning uh, than uh, people who are, let's say, attending the class themselves? They're, they're right there on the spot. Because, uh, let's say, when it comes to some uh, statistics do show that uh, people who attend the classes might not be as interested as the people who are in distance learning, because they made the effort to, to attend those classes uh, from uh, far away. Okay, so it is possible for them to attend the distance, uh, to attend the classes from far away, <coughs> as well as uh, it is possible uh, to attend with a group of students, and all this regulation is uh, very available. Quite a few experiment is there. There is no standardization for distance learning as such. Okay, it depends on how the organization see and run this uh, distance learning. It depends on the staffing, the facility, the resource available, and many factors. But I believe it is for the beneficial for a student. It reduces the cost. It, it, uh, it gives the student the time uh, to have more time to flex the flexibility and uh, to make the uh, practicing uh, and submitting of project is more self-dependent and the benefit it yeah, might be higher. Oh, great. And yes. uh, Mr. Hassan Saidi, thank you very much for being with us. Uh, with us was uh, Mr. Hassan Saidi, who is the director of the Higher Education uh, and the British Academy. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, sir. And when it comes to us back, uh, dear viewers, let's just remind you of our email when it comes to us here in the program, uh, uptodate.ksa2 at uh, gmail.com. And do send us our suggestions, of course, after two weeks, inshallah, after one week, not next episode, but the week, episode after it, inshallah, by the will of Allah, uh, there is the whole new system of up-to-date. So, inshallah, there will be more interactivity, not only in distance learning, but in our program as well. So, you'll find that then within a week time, the beginning of the new year, and we wish everybody, inshallah, a pleasant, happy year uh, for 
through all the times and may Allah accept all our ideas inshallah going back to our topic when it comes to Gmail and uh, free services that it provides uh, during the break our guest I mean did uh, have the time to do a couple of things uh, so just just tell us exactly what's going on because uh, there's chatting and you tried to video chat a couple of people uh, with I think one individual uh, at a time but if you just tell us about the interface that we're seeing right now and tell our viewers about it in details please well uh uh, here, I, I would like to have a... Yeah, double screen, please, uh, so that... Yeah. Yeah, um, okay. Uh, I, I'm, I've been, you know, checking the connection, and by the way, w uh, we have, you know, the outage of Internet uh, due to, you know, the cable uh, break breakage in... Uh, uh, yeah, and in the middle of the sea, there are three cables that are damaged. The one between yeah, the Yeah, but and thank God, uh, our, inter uh, our internet provider is smart enough to have, you know, uh, other connections Alternatives, to yeah, yeah uh, other countries as well. Um, so um, I was trying to connect, and uh, here I am uh, checking my email. I want to let the people. Uh, join me uh, yeah, checking my email uh, as you can see here yes there's there's a theme for the email this is just uh, released you can ha you can uh, personalize your email the image that you like in, in the theme the color scheme yes and uh, here w with me some of my friends um, I've been chatting to Dr. Bader and uh, now I'm chatting with Garfield uh, sad <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, and, hello. Uh, and this is what you talked about, imp implemented uh, chatting. I mean, he's laughing in mean, there. So you can, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, 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 and I can video uh, chat with him. And this is through the email, not a program, but through the email web page. Yeah, through the web page. As you can okay. see here, this is Firefox. Uh, and, yeah. Uh, Great. Yeah, this so is uh, typically Firefox. Okay. And uh, uh, Saad is trying to chat. His connection is very, very poor. Looks like it. Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, the video is it doesn't show here. Okay. And uh, so, uh, if you take us uh, first of all, the left side when it comes, this is the inbox the standard. Yeah. Okay. If you uh, just talk uh, us through this it. This is so typical. The okay. Inbox sent I items and spam box uh, trash as in every other email. There's something new here. Uh, start, for example, this message from Ahmed uh, is, is interesting, so I'm, I'm putting a star. So okay. I'm starring some image, that some emails. That you you star them. No, does, there's no system that no, no, stars them. No, I can star them. For oh, example, okay. uh, here uh, from Abdullah, I want to star Abdullah's uh, message. Okay. And uh, um, uh, if I'm looking for the important messages, uh, I can go to start and it will show me the all the start images great uh, recently they they uh, made us able to uh, you know have different stars blue star uh, and yellow star you can star. choose uh, i mean uh, as in you can yeah. show the different stars as you wish exactly you can you can have a set of stars and uh, even uh, for example this is a question mark where, where if you don't understand an email so you're it's more user friendly than the old thing. I mean, it's more more interactive, not like the exactly. old system. Exactly, and uh, I will show you some conversations here. Okay. Um, for for example, here there, here's a, a big conversation. Uh, okay. Uh, Abdulaziz has sent, uh, which is me, sent the message to Abdulaziz Shamri. So Abdulaziz Shamri replied to me, dear engineer Abdulaziz, assalamu alaikum, dear sir, required changes, uh, etc. So. This is uh, the whole conversation. a whole conversation. I can enlarge one of uh, you know the topics, and okay. I, I, if, if this is interesting, I'll put a star here so it wouldn't uh, collapse again. No, when it came in the year 2005, and uh, there was more like uh, innovation, uh, MSN, and uh, the whole new layouts, it came that uh, the new layouts were too heavy, let's uh, say, to load. The pages were, I mean, big in size, so that people suffered from uh, the new uh, services that they tried. They tried in MSN and Yahoo as well. The whole interface, they've changed it, but it was too heavy on our systems because it, it loaded, it took a long time. What about a Gmail from your own experience? Yeah, isn't that amazing? You know, uh, the, the connections are getting better, 
And uh, according to that, some websites, they make their websites right. larger. So uh, according to the connection uh, being good, what about mobiles? What about you know, uh, people who have you know, l lesser connection? Uh, is your aim to reach everyone or just to be elite uh, oriented? Uh, Google is reversing uh, the equation. Uh, the connection is getting better and Google is getting lighter. Nice. Yeah. Uh, the, the, um, the whole s thing here, it doesn't cause the connection because there is XML, you know, Ajax is based on XML. XML is very light weight uh, data, uh, you know, representation uh, protocol where you can, <coughs> for example, here I have missed some, uh, you know, chat uh, f with my friends while I'm away. Uh, this is sad. You have chatted with me this long and uh, Dr. Salih al Nassar was here and that's in my regards yeah so so th the thing is uh, uh, there's another question for me to ask is uh, regarding uh, uh, some people do like when they're at the office not to be interfered from other people that's why I mean uh, when the, the benefits of going through a web page uh, not logging into let's say a program and checking your emails going to the web page is that nobody can see you but what I'm seeing right now is that as soon as you open the website everybody can contact you everybody can see you uh, some, so, certainly sometimes uh, I mean where you're at your office you're at, I mean you're, you're uh, an engineer in the college so you've got a lot of work so you don't want to uh, take your time take more time with this can you let's say just use it as a simple email without the old chatting yeah you, you can have an option here uh, at the bottom of uh, w w where you can have different versions the turn off chat uh, basic HTML and right. yeah you can, you can have <coughs> you know the way you like it and even here uh, I'm busy for example here okay uh, it shows that <coughs> the red sign which means I'm busy, so no one will uh, bother me. Bother you. Yeah. Uh, as you can see here, there is my friends, uh, Dr. Badr, uh, so, uh, some other people who are free to chat. Um, I can ask, ask him about a, uh, anything that comes up, that pops in my mind. Um, here's a, uh, th there's another feature <coughs> when we talked about labeling. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, label, for example, CC, which is the computer center, being the manager of computer center in Riyadh Co uh, College of Technology, I have many emails that is for computer center. Okay. Uh, those messages, uh, reports about the web filter and what are the, you know the lines and what's going on. Uh, the, the reports, uh, they are all in this category. Great. Uh, the, uh, I, I made a filter that eases my work. It works. It's my secretary. It's like uh, we used to, I mean, still have them with the, let's say, Outlook or Express. When it comes to rules, you create a rule that if an email contains uh, this address, put it in that folder, as you said. But it, this is different. This is, this is uh, a more flexible way. Way to amazing. For example, this is an, a message from Johaji from Facebook. I want to filter those messages that yeah, comes yeah, from yeah, okay. Facebook. Um, I'll go here. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'll filter messages like this. By the way, the interface can come to totally Arabic. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, filter messages like this. And it, it figures out that um, from webmaster, blah, 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 at fa uh, Facebook mail, I will remove this. Anything at Facebook mail. Anything at Facebook, take it. Okay. Uh, has the word, doesn't have the word, has attachment. Yeah, similar to, fil uh, to rules, yeah. Exactly. And you can show the filter. Does it apply on the messages you meant? It shows you. This is, you know... Uh, All those messages apply to it. Yeah. Uh, so, next step. Uh, let's go back. I yeah, know to, to change the... Okay. okay. Uh, next step. Here are the messages below. They are all... Uh, Facebook. Uh, yeah, Facebook. They, they all uh, apply to the criteria. So I would say skip the inbox. Don't show it to me. It's not a task. Um, and mark it as read. No, this is harsh. Yeah, ma <laughs> yeah. Um, start it. No, don't push your luck. Uh, yeah. This is better, says Hala. Uh, yeah, um, uh, apply label. Those are from okay. uh, um, Facebook. They are, uh, for example, um, reports. Okay. 
Okay. Shall I forward it to you, Faisal? Yeah, so you can choose <laughs> as well to forward those Yeah, things. I can forward Facebook, uh, Facebook messages too. So let's say, I mean, you're a head of our organization or a member of our organization. If you receive, a me uh, let's say, an email from uh, a website or something that all of you are interested in, it can automatically send it to everybody. Exactly. Great. Mm. For example, uh, in my uh, domain name registration, uh, I used to forward my accountant. Okay. So I'll have the first copy, and he will have another copy. So any comes that uh, any any email comes from the hosting company will automatically go to my accountant. Major point to talk about. I'm sorry to get there, but major point to talk about is junk mail. What do you got for about junk mail when it comes to regarding Gmail? Well, uh, this is somehow relevant to junk mail. You can you can filter junk filter. mails. Is there an manually. automated system? Of course. Okay. Of course, it's the you know the best automated uh, junk mail filter uh, ever. I don't I don't want to make ever the best the, the yeah yeah. Uh, but I, I like it. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a matter of uh, preference. So yes. <laughs> 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 okay. So uh, there's an option never send it to spam. For example, there's a message that goes always to spam. Um, you can ask them not to send it to spam. Mm. Yeah. Uh, create the filter now. All Facebook people will go to reports. Will not pop up in my face. Let's talk about spam. Yes. Spam. I mean, as yeah, soon as already filled. <laughs> yeah, this is one day old. Yeah. As you can see here, the, the most recent one is ten. 23. Yeah, which, which is, is more like a couple of minutes ago. The thing minutes. is, uh, I've had uh, one of the emails that I've had, the main email that I'm using, I've been using it since 98. And now I receive only one email out of more than 400 a day that is only mine. All the rest is just spam. Exactly. And this is with time, it builds up that you're more recognized to spammers. Exactly. And is this the case here? I mean, uh, yeah. is it commercial? It's just. Th I, that's I, have, email. I have a problem here. Um, I, I have my personal email, which is uh, at my domain, and uh, usually I, I forward it to my previously Hotmail or Yahoo. Uh, but when I uh, reply to any message, it shows uh, as is at Yahoo. I don't want me to look at you know to look in front of people that I'm sending back from Yahoo. I want my e my email, my domain. Yes. Uh, this is another uh, benefit of using Gmail. It gives you profiles. You can use uh, five profiles. You can reply, uh, and you can automate it. When any email come from my email at the college, reply as my email at the college. Uh, so uh, it, it 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 works like it's your personal email. So I'm 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 here. I'm I'm gathering uh, about five emails. Orage at Wajaha orage at RCT, uh, which is the college, and my personals uh, are all in one box. Great. You know, the space is uh, immense, so uh, why can't I oh. use it? Or oh, spammers. So spammers will increase because I have many emails, emails in this yes. box. Uh, every day I have about 700 spam messages. None of them, maybe one or two, they can pass the filter. Maybe. You know, in, in in a week, I can have two messages that are Which is spam. a relief. I mean, if you go to your inbox, you find that what you want to read. You don't want to find stuff that you don't need. Do you want to buy this? Do you want that? You don't want spammers. Uh, is this filter that you made yourself, or it's an automated it's, it's filter? It's automated. Uh, it's smart filter. Uh, when, when people send messages to you and some other people within Gmail, it automatically recognizes it. Okay. It automatically... Well, what if just a group message, a CC? It's it's a C, if it's a CC then uh, you can you can deal with your friend who's sending and if you if you mark him as a spammer, he will go to spam. But I will not delete it, eliminate it. It will give you the chance to see it. Yeah, exactly. And th sometimes you know there is older, older, oldest. Uh, there are pages. You know the page shows one hundred messages, and I have five hundred. Shall I go into every page and select all? No, there's a new uh, button. It's not new, but uh, before it wasn't there, we asked them to put it, and they respond. Uh, delete all spam messages now. It, it will delete everything. That's it? Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay. And by the way, while I'm deleting, maybe you will find some messages. Okay. <laughs> yeah, thank God uh, there isn't. But sometimes 
you know, just I'm, pu I'm clicking the button, and three messages uh, appears. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it's no message. <laughs> what about, uh, I mean, uh, we come to the major point that we've got, I mean, we're running out of time, we've got only more like 10 minutes, less than 10 minutes. Uh, what about uh, when it comes to Gmail and their mobile services? Yeah, uh, uh, Gmail, they have provided the best uh, solution for uh, mobile uh, users. Okay. Uh, for example, uh, for 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 uh, Symbian, Nokia, and other, uh, they have uh, a specific software uh, for it, and for they have the best software for iP iPhone, um, and they they have for Windows as well. Uh, also, you can check your email from a, a regular browser from your mobile. So you don't have to install their software. That's not the case with Hotmail and everyone, So you c because you cannot browse. You have specific in uh, interface yes. that is very lightweighted because you know mobile is exp expensive. Internet yes. on mobile is, uh, is more expensive. So they considered that. Nice. It's very lightweighted. Even if you have PDF uh, files and uh, you know, uh, heavy files, they translate it to HTML so you can uh, see it uh, clearly in your mobile, not, not needing any other, uh, you know, plugins or softwares. Uh, it's very smart, and you know the smartness of Google being a search engine made them smart to uh, figure out uh, the spam. You know, if they can index all the the whole, you know, internet pages, yeah. they can figure out spam. Great. They they are the best candidates for uh, this task. Okay, uh, uh, let us talk about uh, SMS messages and Gmail. Yeah, um, I would like to have you know a, a whole episode just for exactly. you know the calendar of uh, Gmail or Google. Here, the calendar, I can have public or private calendars. Uh, um, here's the, the uh, my calendar. It sends me an SMS for every uh, occasion. For example, this occasion I can, uh, you know, expand the period or decrease it. For example, I have a meeting for one hour and I will increase it to uh, two hours. Uh, or sometimes I want to move it to another day. Okay. Or postpone it for, uh, for you know the day after tomorrow. Okay. Um, y you can have you know th uh, the moon positions here. Uh, the salary of my <laughs> uh, driver here, it sends me an SMS, uh, and you, you have some... Sends you an SMS to your mobile here in Saudi? That doesn't matter wherever you are uh, in the world? Yeah, uh, for example, the reminder, pop up or SMS, SMS, one day, or for example, minutes, one minute, or 10 minutes. So 10 minutes before the time, it will send you an SMS. Send you an SMS. Okay. The thing is, with SMS usually they charge, but here, uh, even here, free. it's free. It's free. free. You can have as as much appointments as you want. It's 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 great when you have, for example, you have events like here in Channel Two. Uh, we have some events, and we want uh, our uh, users to be able to uh, interact with us. Uh, we want to send them SMS. We want to put our programs in uh, the list, uh, so we can ha have a calendar that is public. We ask people to add it. Great. It's all free. People can make the most uh, benefit of it. Yep. You got spam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, one other thing that we should, I mean, uh, finalizing the whole thing. If you got an email, old email, or, um, a lot of people are interested, let's say, within the episode to, to change to Gmail or to change them to the, It's a free service. We're not commercializing for it. It's one of the good free services, and we're just providing it for you, viewers, or we're just putting stuff on the table. I mean, it's a matter of choice for you, uh, dear viewers. So uh, let's say, I mean, uh, uh, people do like uh, Gmail. They want to uh, transfer their account to Gmail to have their emails from a certain domain, from a certain... Uh, uh, email provider sent to Gmail. They should what exactly should they do? Just create a link or something or forward everything? Well, uh, depending. Or there's a service here. Uh, depending, uh, th there's a service here. They c they can grab your uh, uh, POP account and they can grab your uh, IMAP. Uh, also, you can uh, forward those messages. For example, if I want to compose here a message, 
uh, I can send as Aziz as or uh, at Orage, which is my private. Uh, or any email. of the other domains. Yeah. Look. <laughs> nice. Uh, th th is is it as well accessible from your computer? If you got, I mean, does this provide you with Pop3 so that you can access Gmail from home? Yeah, and IMAP. IMAP is more important than Pop3 now, because okay. uh, when you delete a message or make it as read, it will be read in Gmail. This is uh, not in uh, yeah, part three. comparing the whole thing. It used to be a hassle. It used to be such a drag. I mean, you used to have time just connecting the whole PC. When you update your uh, library, you gotta just wait for it to synchronize the whole things. When it comes to us now, uh, Engineer Abdelaziz Alaj, thank you very much for being with us. It was an honor, and inshallah, we'll come forward for more episodes. Inshallah. Inshallah. And from us, dear viewers, do email us on Gmail at uh, uptodate.ksa2 at gmail.com. Uh, regarding us from here in the program, we do thank everybody uh, and we do wish you a happy day and uh, a happy, yeah, nice evening. And regarding us, the new technology will not be conducting it. it was, that was so interesting when it comes to Gmail that we didn't conduct uh, the new technology segment. But do wait for us next episode. And inshallah, we'll have the new segments and everything ready in the episode after it. Uh, from me, everybody here in KSA2. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.